not familiar with stock photography yet. It's a program which basically enables pretty much anyone to sell their photos by uploading them to a site such as I am. Think of it like it's Amazon or eBay for photos. The main difference here is that other stock photography sites will only pay you a few cents per photo sold which is kinda insulting. I am pays more, much more than other sites. So let me give you guys a quick tour of the app. So the main tab labeled E is IM's own tab where they show updates, missions, featured photographers, and even tutorials. Next tab would be your feed. It shows the photos that you uploaded as well as the photos from people that you follow. You can like, comment, and share. You know, the typical social media stuff. The mission tab is where current as well as previous contests are posted. Here you can join ongoing challenges. Taking part of them gives you a chance of winning different kind of things like mobile devices, having your photo exhibited or featured, win press passes, subscriptions, a lot of things. The notification tab which we're going to skip since it's kind of self-explanatory. While your profile tab is where all your uploaded photos are going to be. It shows the total number of photos that you uploaded versus the total that made it to the market. This is also where you can upload your photos from your smartphone. Now you can definitely sell photos taken in post-process from a smartphone, but if you have a better camera as well as the knowledge to edit using a more advanced app, then go for that route instead. Either way, make sure to be gentle with post-processing. This isn't Instagram. The more legroom the client has to process the photo to his liking after purchase, the better. Also, try not to resize or crop your photos if possible. And the more tags that you can attach to your photos, the better. Just make sure that it's related to your photos. Because it doesn't matter how good your photos are if people wouldn't be able to find them. So there you have it. My little review slash tutorial of IM. If ever you decide to register, add me up. I'd love to see your photos. Photoshop and Lightroom and Affinity and, and all of the industry standard software for photo editing. But there has to be some sort of discussion had about the power of photo editing apps. We found three different ones that are completely different from just adding like a simple filter, you know, types of kind of color filter or a sepia tone to your pictures on Instagram. These are really technologically advanced. So if you kind of class yourself as a more creative photographer, um, then stick around because I think you'll really, really like these. So we've made sure that all these apps are available on Apple and Android platforms as well. Well, just wanted to let you know, obviously, we're not being sponsored by them either as well. This is just apps we wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about because we thought they were quite interesting. So let's get into the first one. Prism has been around since about 2016, which in the lifetime of apps means it must be doing something right. And we think it is. It totally surpasses the idea of simply adding a color filter over the top of a picture. It uses AI and a neural network to kind of specifically create images in the style of different art movements. So you can do something like a Picasso, an Edvard Munch, or even a Dali. There's, there's like about 300 different effects to try. Mirror Lab takes an unusual approach to creative manipulations. It allows you to kind of distort in about 50 different ways your photos using either like a twirl, a swirl, ripples, fractals, or triangulation effect. It's a really cool app for abstract photographers who want to kind of spice up the social media posts or just create something a bit more quirky for your backgrounds on your phone even. All these different effects are customizable. So the files each time. Image is in our top three favorite editing apps at the minute. The image lets you apply new effects and different elements to your photos, turning them into live pieces of art. You don't even need to record video first, you just take your favorite picture and run it through the over 100 built in effects just to see kind of what different results you can create. The file the image kicks out can be uploaded to all your social media platforms, so it's really easy to show off to all your friends. Thank you.
Thank you.